Why is that? Not because they're doing it intentionally, because unfortunately there is this atmosphere of Islamophobia. We are, we are having this difficulty. Another example I would like to give is, you know the uh, French court bans the pictures of uh, the uh, future Queen of, of England. The indecent pictures, of course. But at the same time, the same uh, court, or you know, uh, common law courts, they say, oh, this is just freedom of expression. This innocence of Muslims, this movie, why it is full of hate speech. In 17 countries in the West, Denial of the Holocaust is a, is a crime, is a, is, it's a crime, and we accept that as Muslims. We have no problem with that. Uh, but the thing is that where is freedom of expression there? Where is freedom of speech there? The same way we Muslims, basically, what we, what, I think what the solution would be is that there should be legislation which, which uh, protects not only Muslims, but Every religion from any insult, any religious community from any insult, and it is there already. We have that in the, in the United Nations Charter of Human Rights. However, we need to really specify it more now. I personally am in the view, I think that there should be a term there which should be Islamophobia, it's, it, it's not permissible. Like anti-Semitism is not permissible. So this, this is a problem, as I said, we are facing as well. In regards to rape, another example I would like to give you is, you know, the Islamophobia, how much the Islamophobia there exists in the media particularly. And media, of course, as you know, makes, uh, you know, people's minds. We, have, we had the minaret ban in Switzerland a couple of years ago. The banning of the minarets. Not the azan, just the minarets, just, just that minaret. There, there was a referendum on that. Where is freedom of religion there? It was a, a, a very big example of Islamophobia. The niqab issue, for example. Niqab, the hijab, the, the, the hijab ban in certain countries, Western countries. And when you look at, um, this is the last thing I'd like to mention here, is when you look at uh, elections, when the elections are going on in certain countries, and thank God, not in Ireland, Certain countries do get votes, or certain parties in Holland, for example, the PVV, the Partei for the Freiheit, the, the Party for Freedom, so called freedom. Freedom of what? Freedom to insult, basically. Freedom to insult the Muslims. They get votes. Why? Just because they're spreading anti hate, uh, they're spreading um, hatred, hate speech. But they still get votes. And, and the problem we as Muslims are facing, and I think this is also again connected with integration, is that we Muslims must understand we are here in Europe and we are going to stay in Europe. And this is something with the, which the larger community needs to understand as well. We're not here to go back to our countries. No. I am a second generation uh, person here. I was uh, born and brought up in the Netherlands. I speak fluently Dutch. And uh, uh, my brother, uh, my brothers, my family, everybody lives in Holland. And there are fourth, fifth generation Muslims in the UK. They're going to stay there. So they have to realize, the Muslims, they have to realize that Europe is home. Europe is their home. They have to forget, the, you know, about the Western world and the Muslim world. There is nothing like that. Islam is a religion which adopts itself, and Islam is a religion which has no particular culture. It is a religion which adopts other cultures. Provided it is not contradict with their own basic teachings. So they have to think that we as Muslims, we are, we have actually formed a new identity in Europe. The Muslims of Europe, Irish Muslims, Belgian, French Muslims. They have to understand that and so they should participate within uh, politics here. They should participate within uh, all other uh, fields here. And on the other hand, the, uh, the governments, the states, or the larger community should also accept these people. They should give them places in the media. They should allow them to come on TV and, and be part. I mean, I have been here for so long, for, for 10 years almost in Ireland, and until now, um, I haven't seen anybody uh, who is a, a newscaster from an ethnic background. But you have that in the UK, you have that in all other countries. And it should be done here as well. Why? Because when people see someone like that on TV, it really, they really kind of try, they accept it then, slowly, slowly. It's a psychological process. So uh, these, these were just a few things I wanted to say. There is so much more I have written there, but I understand I am probably over the time now. So uh, if there are any questions in regards to the topic,
please feel free to ask anything. And even if there are questions which are not related to the topic, but they are related to Islam or Muslims, please feel free to question it. Thank you.